In this video I'm going to show you how to install a web server. Um, I had previously said in an older video that I was going to use Nginx but actually I'm, I think I'm going to move forward with the um, more traditional Apache. So the first thing you have to do is to make sure that our um, app get is up to date. So um, if you follow my previous videos you should understand what we're doing here. So run the command sudo apt get update which will ensure that our um, system is working perfectly. I'm just going to pause that so you don't have to watch that because that will take quite a long time so it will be sped up for the purpose of the video okay so that's finished I'm just going to clear that away and the next thing we're going to want to do is to run the following command um, sudo apt-get install apache2 so apache is our web server it can um, run standard html um, nothing much more complicated than that it's going to download um, 11 um, different packages with different um, dependencies we can see a list of all of the things here it's going to open it's going to download so the 11 things and it's going to be around 10 megs so we say yes and then we'll let that go and again I'm going to pause the video for the sake of speed of, the, of uh, watching this okay so you're going to um, get some um, errors when it first installs it's going to fail to start and we'll go through that in a moment um, as to why that happens okay so what we want to do now is we want to quickly have a look in a directory called um, etc and in here we should see um, a new directory that's been created called Apache 2 so if we change into that directory and we have a look in here here is all of our really important config files now you can go to the um, Apache's website and read up on what all of these do um, the main ones that we're interested in is going to be apache2.conf and um, basically environment variables files here which we're going to do some work on in a moment also you'll notice there's a, um, a new directory called um, var uh, sorry, slash var slash dub 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 if we go into here We'll see there's a file called index.html now any of you know much about web servers whenever you go to uh, an apache web server the uh, default page that looks to load is index.html we'll quickly view that file and we can see that there is some very very basic um, html code there and um, we'll look at that running in just a moment so what we would do in this situation is we would now um, try and start our services so sudo services apache2 start and we're going to get the following error um, starting web server apache2 bad group name dub 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 data what this is basically saying is that the service is trying to run under the user and the group name dub 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 data which doesn't exist under the standard debian squeeze raspberry pi um, release no problem we can easily change this so if we um, just check which directory okay we're in so we're in okay we're in um, slash etc slash apache2 we need to make an alteration to the environments file so if we sudo nano environment variables what we need to do is you can see here this is the line which is telling the apache service to run so if we select that and then um, come down here and right click we just copy that onto there if we put a comment in front of the original two lines um, I'm sorry a uh, hash it turns them into comments which means that it, they will no longer be read and if we change this to pi and this to pi this is what I use this is what our Apache service is now going to try and run under and we know that we are the user pi because that's our standard username here okay so if I now try and change that and we try and run the services again um, that does work and that does um, start but we also get this error here starting web server Apache could not reliably determine the service fully qualified domain name using um, the loopback address for server name again not a problem what we do is we need to edit this file here uh, httpd.com so sudo nano http.conf and then what we do is we add in here the line server name localhost save that to there 
let's uh, stop our services start our services we can see that's running if we now look at the uh, status of it we can see that's running there and the last thing we can do to test that it's working is to come in here type in the IP address of our Raspberry Pi and there we go that was the HTML we saw previously and that is a very very simple web server running so obviously you can go online now find some templates and you should be able to create a very simple web server that you'll be able to access internally on your network